Lots of Books fans, this is Scorp1701, and welcome to part two of our six-part Voltron series. As you may recall, yesterday we took a look at the classic legendary Red Lion, and now we are going to be taking a look at the classic legendary Green Lion, brought to us from Playmates as they've reissued their previous figures for the Voltron 40th anniversary. So... Without further ado, let's jump into this awesome packaging and take a look at the legendary Green Lion. As you can see, it is in your standard Voltron packaging. This is the same packaging that we got back in 2016 and 17, except you do have the 40th anniversary logo here. You have Ages 4 Plus, Voltron, have a nice picture of Voltron there with his sword. Coming down, you can see the green line in the packaging. You have a picture of him firing missiles. It says fire missiles. You have a nice picture of the green lion sitting right here classic legendary green lion you have the schematic which shows you that the green lion is the left arm of voltron and down at the bottom right you have playmates now on the bottom of the packaging itself you do have voltron collect all five lions and then you have all five lions you have some credits for the box and an awesome barcode if that is of interest to you playmates again down here at the bottom and finally, coming around to the back of the blister card, you do have a lot of cool product shots. You have Voltron, Classic Green Lion. You have a cool read-up of what they usually said in the cartoon at the very beginning. If you want to pause that, read that to your heart's content. But we must be moving on. Over here to the left, you have a read-up of the pilot Pidge. And Pidge is the only pilot that had the good sense to wear the same color uniform as his lion. That always bugged me that they wore different uniform colors than their lions. Why would they do that? I don't know. But anyway, you got some more product shots of the lion's accessories. And over here, the same schematic with Voltron. And that the green lion comes with Voltron's awesome shield. So that is pretty cool. There's some plummets at the bottom right again. And that is the packaging. No one wants to see the awesome green lion in the packaging. I know I don't. So let's get him out and let this kitty roar. And here we have the green lion out of the packaging. Out of the packaging, just like the red lion, he stands approximately 3.75 inches tall. And he is about 9 and 3 quarters inches long. So that is pretty cool. Also, in the packaging, you come with a nice set of instructions that help you to show where his accessories go and transform him into a left arm. And we'll take a look at that way later. He comes with some awesome accessories for the lion. He comes with some awesome accessories for Voltron. But before we take a look at those, I want to take a look at the lion himself. And coming real close in on the green lion's head. Now, there are a lot of similarities between the green lion and the red lion, but it is a lot of differences as well. Basically, the color scheme is going to be the same. You have a nice green head with a white stripe down the center. You have beautiful yellow eyes the inside of the ears are painted white coming down you got a black nose beautiful white mouth and on the inside you just have some white teeth and a little bit of white for the bottom of the mouth and on the top i don't think there's any paint no it's just green up there so that is neat on the side of the jaw you got some nice gold for the hinge you got nice silver neck and then you got your main body here, which is green with a little bit of red up at the top. The legs are a nice gray. Center of the body is gray, no paint there. Coming back down to the green and the gray for the legs and the tail. So the color scheme, again, like I said, is the same pretty much as the red line. I think the red line actually had the top broken up with two colors and on the bottom you just got the same green and gray so that is pretty neat when taking a look at him so i'll go ahead and bring out the red lion and we can compare the differences the ears the first thing i can see are a little sharper on the green line here the mouth is a little smaller than it is squared off here and when we look at the body molds 
if I zoom out a little bit so we can actually see, you can see that the green line is more roundish, whereas the red line is more squarish. And on the backs, you can see the same thing. It's more rounded off here, blocky here. And that is pretty much going to be the main differences in these lions, the heads and the body shapes. All right. And that is what our green lion is going to look like. Moving on. And for our articulation, starting at the head, head goes around 360 degrees. Nice, strong ratchet there. The mouth does open. It is on a spring. It snaps right back really quickly. Coming to the first part of the back body, you can rotate it 360 degrees if you're so inclined. The legs go back a long way, forward to this point where the uh, neck gets in the way and stops it. The knee will bend forward a long way and it will bend back a little bit, just about one click there. And then coming down to your paw, the paw will rotate forward and back up and down. You don't get left or right in any of that. Coming to the mid section of the body, it is on a ratchet again. It can turn in and out on itself or left and right, depending on how you want to look at it. And then the back can go around 360 degrees using the same hinge as the forward. It's just now you're concentrating on the back. Back legs can move back a long way and then forward a long way. The knees can go forward a long way and they can go back a longer way than the front because these are supposed to come uh, into the body for the transformation to the arm. That will bring us back to the tail and the tail like the other lion's tail is nice soft plastic it moves around you can move it around 360 degrees if you are so inclined so that is cool it is the same articulation as the red lion as i expect it to be now to get the green lion into arm mode just pull back the legs pull up the legs and then forward the feet pull up the back legs pull back the knee point and bring up the feet same on both sides bring up 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 and up back up and then bring out the connection port here and then push your tail in until it gets down really tight in that space as it were then you are going to put it like this and he is going to be the left arm let's scroll out just a little bit so you can actually see that so yeah that is pretty cool for your green lion articulation again nothing that we haven't seen uh, like on the red lion which is very helpful because you know you don't need to have all sorts of different things this is a very simple design and i like it kids would love it kids could play with it a lot easier than having to remember 600 different steps and there you go all right and that is the green lion's articulation moving on and for accessories the green lion comes with his own set of jaw blades and these are really nice you got different blades coming off each of the sides one two three four five six seven if you count these back blades but i don't know if he'll be able to use those effectively and then you have some nice green here in the middle to denote that it is for the green lion on the other side you've got the tab right here and this will tab into the lion's mouth like we saw on the red lion same place and he could look all big and bad with his blades looking to do some slicing and dicing and that is pretty cool and for a brief comparison with the red lion's jaw blades you have kind of this double-edged sickle here as opposed to the multi-blades on this and yes they're interchangeable if you want to but why would you do that they're color-coded and if the uniforms weren't headache enough don't be changing around the accessories it's just wrong <laughs> And here are your Green Lion jaw blades. All right, moving on. And the Green Lion's next accessory is what they call battering spikes. Now, this does peg into the side of his 
back leg or his front leg wherever you want to port it into and it spins around and if he goes up to somebody the spikes can like rip them into shreds and then or you could like stab them with the side here and it's really nice it's plastic so it's not very sharp and you have some nice green here for the tip as it were that is pretty neat if you want to equip that okay moving on and next up for the Green Lion's accessories, he comes with his missile system. And this is pretty neat. Now, unlike the Red Lion, you only get one missile here, but it's okay. you still got the nice gray platform with a little bit of green here at the top. And you can see the missile sticks out all the way there. Got a little bit of detail on the system itself. A little antenna poking out there. And here is the tab where you can plug it onto the side of the body. Let's zoom out and we could give this missile launcher a test. So you'll hit this button on the top to see if it works and boom, yeah, there it goes. Wow, that is very nice spring loaded and it is very good. It shoots a long way and if my backdrop wasn't there it would still be going so that's pretty awesome and just as a special note in the instructions just in case you didn't know it does have a special important do not fire at people animals or at eyes or face do not use any projectile other than those provided with this toy so that is your disclaimer don't do anything dumb with this i will never get good accessories like this again <laughs> all right and that is your missile launcher. Moving on. Whoa! <laughs> and for the Green Lion's final accessory, you do have Voltron's Mighty Shield. And this is really cool. You have some large spikes going out here and some smaller spikes here. Nice golden cross in the center with some black. And coming around to the back, you can see that it will attach to the lion by this part going into his mouth. And it would kind of go over his head. So if you're not in Voltron mode and you want to wear this, I guess you could wear it. And the green lion could have a little spiky hat. <laughs> if you were so inclined. But I don't know if that would work for you. I don't think it's going to work for me, but that's okay. Or maybe he's holding an umbrella in the rain. I don't know. It could be used as a lot of different things <laughs> instead of a shield. <laughs> All right. This has been Voltron's shield. Moving on. And for comparison, here the Green Line is with the Studio Series Sludge and Slag Dinobots. And I think they look all right together. Pretty much the same height. And I was thinking if you gave the lion some saber teeth, he'd fit in real nicely and they could actually start doing additional prehistoric animals. Like maybe throw in a woolly mammoth or something. <laughs> all right. That is your comparison with the Dinobots. Moving on. And for a more cat-like comparison, here you have him with some other 80s cats. The Masters of the Universe Origins Panthor and the Battle Cat. And I think they would be really well together. They scale okay, so if you want to throw somebody up on the green line like Tila or somebody, I think that would be okay. All right, and that is going to be your cat comparisons. Moving on. And for comparison, here you have the Green Lion and the Red Lion all armed up and ready for action. And this is pretty neat. Do enjoy the uh, playability and the accessories that you can mount on the Lions. But again, when I get this all done and finished, I don't think I'll be having the accessories. Obviously, I think he'll just be in Voltron mode. But for the time being, it looks very cool. All right. And that is going to be your lion comparisons. Moving on. And this has been the 40th anniversary Voltron Classic Legendary Green Lion from Playmates. And I really enjoyed playing with this guy. Very similar to the Red Lion, but it has enough differences to say, hey, they didn't just repaint it and throw it in a box and give it different accessories. They actually took a little time to re-sculpt the head and the body. So, yeah, very fun. Accessories, 
are similar to the Red Lions. You get the jaw blades, which are designed differently. You do get the missile launching system, which is cool. So don't put your eye out. And you have the little battering spike thing. Well, take it or leave it. It's all right. The Voltron shield is cool. You can do all sorts of fun things with that. The paint is good. The articulation, of course, is the same as the Red Lion, so no problems there. Very simple design to get into our mode, as we saw. So yeah, again, nothing but good things to say about this toy. And that's going to wrap it up for part two of our Voltron series, the legendary Green Lion. If you are looking for the Green Lion, you can find him on shelves now for $20. I found this particular one at Target, but I'm sure Walmart and online is going to sell them eventually. They are going to be kind of hard to find uh, starting off, but hopefully as more of these get out into the market, you'll be able to find them more readily available. So that's it, guys. That is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Come back tomorrow when we will be taking a look at the legendary Blue Lion. All right, guys. Have a great night. And until next time, keep playing.